Hello, I am jumping on unexpectedly. Um, it is only 24 hours since you saw me in my last update, my motherhood update, um, where I couldn't get Luca to go to sleep. And basically I'm jumping on to share the reality because I've been really, really struggling or we've been really struggling as I talked about. So Luca hasn't been sleeping um, or going to sleep. Um, it's been taken over two hours. Last night it took like two and a half hours to get him to go to sleep. And in that time, I'm like trapped in the cot with him or, you know, he just, he's happy, he's playing, he's laughing, he's singing, but it's exhausting on top of like a full working week. It's been my last week in my current job. And so today was my last day. So that's been really full on, like preparing for the handover and everything. So I was just absolutely knackered. Um, Johnny's been working nights. As I say, Luca has been like not going to sleep until really late. And then by the time I get myself sorted and into bed, it's been like half midnight, one o'clock. I have got to sleep and then he was awake at six this morning. So sort of reached a bit of a breaking point. And I'm just sharing this to say, basically, we called for aid um, this morning. We asked Johnny's parents if they could take Luca today because... Johnny didn't finish until like three in the morning and he was supposed to have Luca today because he wasn't supposed to finish that late but he got stuck on a job it's the nature of his work and yeah he was exhausted I was working and then I tagged on and said if they're taking him can we ask if he can spend the night because the thought of going through the whole routine again tonight on my own was just a bit too much and I don't think there's any shame in that. I'm not ashamed of that. It's really, really hard work looking after a toddler, dealing with a toddler when you're on your own. Um, and yeah, I just needed a break. I just needed to know that I could chill for a night and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I was just jumping on to share that at the very start of this vlog. Um, I'm basically cooking my tea right now. I'm gonna have like a whole full like roast type thing i've got mash i've got yorkshire i've got cauliflower cheese and onion rings i've got everything going on and um, so i'm making myself a nice dinner i'm gonna relax and maybe watch a chick flick in bed and definitely have an early night and yeah that is just like the start of my motherhood update i've called in the troops i've asked for help and it's what we have to do to get by and that is the reality so i just wanted to share it so that you're all with me and if anyone else is like that and feeling a bit like a failure you absolutely are not like asking for help does not equal failure and yeah it feels so good to have a night off hello it is now quite a few days after i saw you last i think um possibly about a week but I have got all of my gifts for Luca or our gifts for Luca for his birthday here so I'm going to show you them all as promised. I am really happy with all of the the different things that we've got him and um, we've definitely not gone overboard we've focused on like a main present and then I've got like sort of a sentimental one um, and then just a few other bits that I know he'll really like um, and a couple of things that are kind of for me they're like things he won't really be bothered about um, but I really like them so I've added them in um, and there's also a really good mix of like new presents and then a few secondhand things from charity shops and vintage as well um, because I really am a big believer in you know like secondhand stuff um so yeah we've got like some brand spanking new things um but we've also got plenty of secondhand things as well which i'm really happy about so i'm excited to show you everything so the theme for luca's birthday was going to be hey dougie um because for months that's all like he's liked he's just watched hey dougie constantly um but in the last few weeks that's changed to peppa pig so his party is now going to be Pe peppa pig themed but we had actually already ordered him something which we gave him early anyway, which was Hey Dougie themed. So we basically ordered him this massive um, like toddler sofa-y comfy chair. Um, it's just a massive Dougie. Um, but us being like the kids that we are ourselves, we couldn't even wait and save it for his birthday because it arrived weeks ago. Um, so we just gave him it straight away. So he's already had that, which kind of works because his party isn't even Dougie themed anymore. So well, this is the Dougie chair. It's like this really cute 
um, chair. And to be honest, he does really use it um, and has been really using it. So I'm glad that we just gave it to him because you know what kids are like, like they like something for a few weeks and then they're over it. So the fact that he's been using it, I'm really happy about. And yeah, I mean, this was secondhand from Vinted. That's why um, it sort of came so early and we didn't save it because I just saw it on Vinted and bought it. <laughs> so yeah, that was like his first present that he already has, is already using and it isn't actually a present at all anymore. But alongside that, something else we ordered, which I have saved for his birthday, which was also from Vinted, um, is this Hey Duggy toy. It's got all of the squirrels and it's um it's got they've all got like buttons it makes lots of different noises sounds talks sings um it's not I don't think it's got batteries in I'll double check it might have batteries in just be turned off let's see no <laughs> Johnny's took the batteries out so it doesn't have batteries in at the moment but it does make loads of sounds and stuff and I mean this was also from Vinted it didn't cost much um i'm sure you'd be able to find it on like amazon or i'm sure there'll be loads of them on vintage um it seems like quite a common one that's out there so if you would like this for your little one i'm sure you could find it and i'm sure lookout will still like it even though he's more a fan of pepper pig at the moment he does still like dougie so that was just a little first thing that we got him and the next thing i'm going to show you is actually from the charity shop um, so this is just something that I just happened to see when I was out browsing um, I wasn't particularly looking for it but it is uh, Playmobil Noah's Ark um, and I just thought it was really cute um, it actually like has a handle so you can pack everything into like the boat and carry it around and stuff um, and look how really like he's really liking his animals and things so I just saw this at the charity shop it was five pounds it's got all of the figures apart from one of the people. It's all in working order. So I just thought like it's something he'll play with and enjoy. Um, so that was just a little extra present. Um, obviously wasn't on the list, but I really think he'll like it. Okay, so the main sort of stack of things that I've got here, and um, these aren't his main presents, but there's like the most of these is books. So Luca absolutely loves his books. He loves to read and look through them. He also loves to make patterns out of them and literally lies them on the floor and walks back and forwards over them <laughs> but whatever he's using them for Luca does really like books and I'm a big big fan of books as well so I've got quite a few here um one place which is brilliant for books is TK Maxx they do so many lovely books and they're obviously so much cheaper than they are in the shops because Books are not cheap at all. I'll show you all of these. I picked them all up from TK Maxx for really good prices. Um, so this first one is Matchsticks Monkeys Colours. So basically you go through the book and you sort of learn all of the colours, which I really liked because Luca has started to talk now. Um, he's saying blue a lot and we sing the rainbow song. So he definitely is like acknowledging colours and starting to learn them. So I thought this was a really nice book for him and the right age for him as well. So that was the first one and that was $2.99 from, it says it retails for $6.99. So a really good price for a book, especially when it's Matchstick Monkey. It's like a brand, isn't it? So really happy with that one. The next one I picked up was just one that I was looking through, saw it and thought it was really lovely. Um, and this is what I do at Take a Max. I literally look through every single book on the shelf because they're all different. Um, and you find some real gems like hidden in amongst them. So this was one of those. So this is Robin's Amazing Box and it's a pop-up book. So all of the things inside pop up, which he doesn't have any of these books at the moment. So I think he'll really like that. Like I think that will really excite him the 3d aspect so i just thought it was really cute and that was in the clearance section it was only two pounds so again that was just one i saw really liked and picked up for him the next three are all peppa pig themed so i'll show you this one first this is a magnet book so peppa's magnet book again tk max it's got all the characters as magnets down the bottom and then it's just got like a storybook where you can stick the, the magnets on. 
So I think he'll really enjoy that. It's interactive. It's not something he's had before. He hasn't had a magnet book, but he does like magnets on fridges when we like go to people's houses and they have magnets. He likes to play with them. So that's um, a new novelty for him. It's Peppa Pig. So it's like on brand <laughs> for his current um, favorite things. And it was $4.99 from $7.99, TK Maxx. And the final books I got from TK Maxx is actually one I've been looking at on both Vinted and Amazon. And I hadn't ordered because I was like, it's sort of a novelty. Um, and then it felt like it was just meant to be there for me, <laughs> TK Maxx. It was, it was hidden right at the very end of the row and I just happened to see it and I was like, oh my God. So it is Peppa's Happy Birthday book. And basically you press it and um, it sings happy birthday, the candles light up. And then you like, you can blow, obviously it doesn't have a sensor, but it says blow the candles and they go out. So I just really love that. And it's slightly, I mean, this is the one thing with TK Maxx and I'm things aren't in the best condition. It's very slightly damaged there, but I'm just gonna stick it down with glue and you'd never know. But I just, oh, just for his birthday, I wanted that and couldn't really just, I order in it specially. But it was £1.10 at TK Maxx. <laughs> there is the evidence. So it was at TK Maxx. It was in clearance. It was meant for me and look at, I'm telling you, I'm a big believer in these things. And the last book I'm really excited about because it is a special personalised one. I've started making this tradition that like every Christmas and birthday I get Luca a personalised book and um, so it's like extra special and obviously through the years he'll build up a collection of his own like personalised books and um, the last couple of years I've done it through um, Wonderbly wonderbly yeah, i'm sure it is wonderbly um and they have a load of different books you can do so i did a nursery rhyme one and a peekaboo one this happened to pop up on instagram this was a classic instagram made me buy it ad um but it popped up and it was just perfect and so <laughs> i ordered it um it is peppa and george's big adventure to find luca it's just so cute and basically um, it's like a map so you put the child's initials in and then the story goes through um, like a treasure hunt to find the clues which spell the name so we've got like L for ladybird here um, and basically yeah it goes through it spells the name and at the end you have the child's name in the map and the child turns up to play which I just thought was oh, so cute that's Luca oh, I just yeah I thought it was really cute and it wasn't like a crazy price either I think I think it was like 14 pounds in the end with like postage and stuff which yes I know is not cheap cheap but it's not like in the realms of crazy either um as I say that's like a special present I want him to have a personalized book for each year so and he loves Peppa Pig at the moment so I just thought that was really special and the fact that it spells his name like again for learning I think it'll help um because he has learned his name he calls himself Lua um but whenever you say Luca like he knows he is Luca um so it'll just help us with like spelling out his name and starting that that process and it'll be years before he's actually like writing his name but it's just nice to have that little sort of educational aspect in there so that's all of the books um which yeah I just think is a perfect present for any child to be honest and I always like to get a few so the next couple of bits are the things that I said aren't really well they are for Luca but they're not things he's really gonna be excited about they're more for me and things I wanted to buy um and again these are both from TK Maxx I just happened to be browsing I saw this super cute top which I just have a thing for the Ralph Lauren teddy bear <laughs> I just think he's really cute <laughs> So whenever I see the Ralph Lauren teddy bear, I kind of want to buy it. Um, he only has one other thing with the Ralph Lauren teddy bear on and it's like a really small logo. So this is the first full sized one, but I just thought this was a really cute top. It was £11, TK Maxx. And yeah, I mean that, as I said, I don't think Luca's going to be particularly excited about that, but I am putting it in with his presence. <laughs> and then the second thing, which you actually might get excited about, is some little Levi sandals. 
um he needed some sandals for summer and actually Luca does really love shoes and um, we let him pick like the shoes that he wants to wear each day and he really enjoys doing that and he likes putting his shoes on so actually he might be a little bit excited by these but these were sort of a practical present something that he needed but with his birthday being soon I just decided to put them in with the presents. So the next gift might be a tad controversial um, but you know what I'm I'm fine with this um, I know that you know there's different reasons why people don't like their child to have a dummy growing older but Luca still uses dummies and we're okay with that at the moment and um, it's a major part of comforting him and um, so I saw a little pack of two dummies and um, and I just thought, you know what, he'll actually see this and get excited and go, Dodie! Um, because he calls them Dodies, even though we don't. Um, we call them dummies. So I'm not sure if that's from nursery or what, but yeah, he'll see this and I genuinely think this will excite him. Um, and the reason I picked them up was because they're actually the sort of largest size you get and you don't see them in the shops very much. So again, TK Maxx, <laughs> TK Maxx, I just see stuff and buy it. Um, but yeah, just a little pack of dummies. Um, this is something that I'd like class as a stocking filler, even though it's not Christmas, but it's just like a little extra. Okay, on to his main present, which I'm really excited to give him. It is a Tony's box. So basically, I'm sure if you're watching this, you have children. Um, and if you have children, I'm sure you'll have heard of the Tony's box. But it's basically a music box. Um, that you get all these like figures for you put them on top and it plays either stories or songs and there's loads of characters um and it's all the like you know the well-known ones so pepper pigs in there all of them paw patrol winnie the pooh all that stuff um luca has just started singing loads dancing loads like he really enjoys music so I just thought this was going to be a really lovely gift for him um, and it's designed for them to be able to use themselves so they can get the little figures, put it on top and like self-operate which I think is really lovely for some like autonomy um, and independence and I'm sure we're going to get really sick of hearing the same songs over and over again but that is the price you pay for your child's happiness. So <laughs> I'm really excited to give Luca this because I think he's really going to enjoy it. I picked up two figures, um, so I got this one which is favourite children's songs, it's a little dog, and this one which is animal songs, um, sorry this is playtime and action songs and this is animal songs, um, and I basically just went for two song ones because I don't think Lucas at an age yet where he would listen to an audio book but obviously that's the lovely thing about this is it'll last for years and as he gets older we can you know get all the different figures that do stories and things um so this is like a longevity uh gift and yeah I think it's really going to grow with him and he's really going to love it you can get like starter bundles and things um which would be like a box and three four or five of these I didn't go for any of the bundles because actually they didn't have a lot of song only ones and so it still worked out cheaper for me at this moment in time to just get the box two ones that I actually wanted um, and I used a code from a friend uh, where you get £15 off so everyone who buys something from Tony's gets a code that you can share with all of your friends and family um, and it gives the person who uses it £15 off and it gives you £15 to spend on like a figure because they're £14.99 so I will presumably actually have received a code so if I can find it I'll pop it in the video so if you wanted to get a Tony's box um, you can make use of that and then it gives us £15 to spend too. I'm in no way affiliated with this. As I say, it's just something anyone who buys from Tony's gets. Um, so I might as well share it with you. But yeah, I'm so excited to give him this. I think he'll really love it. And something else we're actually in the middle of doing, which is really exciting, is we are redecorating Luca's bedroom at the moment. Um, so we started a few months back, we got the feature wall, which is like a wallpaper um, with a map of the world with all different animals on it, which I absolutely love. It's so cute. And it's been up for a few months, as I say, and Luca really likes it. He like looks at it and points at all the animals and things. 
But there was a wider plan for the whole room, um, which has taken a bit of time, you know, spreading out the cost and just time that we don't really have to do the stuff. So um, we got the paint and we started painting the rest of the walls. Like we got a colour match with the wallpaper. So we've been painting all the rest of the walls um, the same colour. And the idea is that it's going to be like the sky. So I've ordered some decals, which are like planes and hot air balloons and things. We got some new blinds put up as well a couple of weeks ago so the room's coming together and that's really exciting um, I'd love it to be done for his birthday I'm not sure if the the wall art will arrive in that time because it's actually coming from Australia um, and it's not scheduled to arrive unfortunately before his birthday but it's not really a gift but it's sort of happening at the same time as his birthday and um, it's kind of part of the the birthday week I guess and um, so I'll definitely do a little transformation vlog when we've sort of finished that I've been picking up the camera as and when we've been doing bits so that vlog will be coming as well if you're interested in some like nursery toddler bedroom inspiration so that's everything that I have bought Luca for his second birthday and um, as I say a nice mix of new and secondhand stuff that's totally fine and um, all the books I always love to get him as well and I don't think we've gone too overboard but he does have you know, a good amount of presents to open and um, we are just having a little house party for him and um, I'm really hoping that the weather will be really nice and um, so we can sort of spread into the garden but yeah I will pick you up and show you like when we decorate and put up all the banners and balloons and stuff on the morning and I'll show you all the desserts that I'm making because I absolutely love to make desserts um, but until then I'm gonna pause I'll have to wrap all of these and then I'll see you in a few days for more preparations. Morning it is quite a while I think since I last picked up the camera um, but it's a few days before Luca's birthday it's Friday um, and I'm just going to start the prep for all the food for the weekend. Um, I'm starting with Luca's birthday cake so I've got all of my ingredients and everything picked up from the shop so I'm just gonna get cracking and um, I've got about five desserts that I'm making over the next couple of days so I'm starting with the birthday cake I'm not gonna film like all of the prep but I'll just like film the key bits while I'm making it before Luca's birthday and um, we've been really busy like prepping for the last couple of days I um, made three desserts this morning made his birthday cake sponges last night so I'm just about to ice and like build his birthday cake I um, have actually had a really nice day I met up with Johnny's mum and my sister-in-law to be um, and we had lunch and we went for a bit of shopping we just had a bit of a girls day while Johnny took Luca and met my dad and his dad and his brother and they had a little boys afternoon so um, it's been a bit full on preparing for the birthday so it was actually really nice to have like a break from that, a forced break um, but back on it now this evening so I'm just about to ice the cake and yeah and then once Luca's gone to bed we will be putting up all the decorations so I'll show you everything Mr. In the morning you're going
going to be two. And then a two. How is that? <laughs> yeah, there's a room for me in there. Is there room? Maybe. Is there room for me? I don't think there is. I don't think there's room. I don't think there's room. Hi, <laughs> hey, baby. Love you. Oh, mommy. Night, night. No, mommy. no, mommy's going downstairs. Night, night. <gasps> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>